Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 reaction video. This morning, NRS has released the gameplay trailer for Rambo. <laughs> so Rambo is the second of the three DLC characters that we can expect to be dropping on November 17th. Um, that is if you order the ultimate edition of Mortal Kombat 11 or just Combat Pack 2 as an upgrade to the game you already have. As you guys know, if you saw my reaction to the Combat Pack 2 reveal trailer, um, Rambo is definitely the character out of the three that I'm the least excited for, Melina being obviously my number one favorite MK character of all time, going all the way back to the original trilogy, so I've been waiting a long time for her, and Rain just also being a classic character one and two, as we saw in his gameplay and his trailer looking super sick. Um, so. I've just been really, really excited for them, and Rambo's kind of been gotten a, a bit overshadowed, I guess you could say. But at the same time, <sighs> Sylvester Stallone actually coming in and doing the voice um, really does kind of ramp up the interest overall. And I'm just curious to see what they're going to do with this character. I'm hoping that we'll get some interesting gameplay that's a bit unique. I know a lot of people are worried about him being another zoning character, Reynala. Um, but NRS is saying that's not going to be the case. So yeah, I'm just curious to see what they do with him and hope that he looks great. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this trailer. Nala, Nala's ready. <laughs> hope you guys are too. All right, so uh, Rambo, here we go. I mean, he really does look like Stallone. He looks sick. Oh, come on, Nala. You off the board. Give it nice. your best shot, soldier. It'll be right between the eyes. Nice. All right. All right. So far, so good. Oh, okay. Not another air black boot kick. Holy shit, that goes far. That's like a... Okay. Alright, interesting skin. Ooh, alright, that goes far too. And the traps. That army crawl! You guys see that shit? Alright. See, it's some shades of night here. Oh, wait a minute. Fighting the Terminator. What the fuck was that? Okay. Another trap. All right, and juggles right into the fatal blow. Ooh, arrow to the face. <laughs> They always get the big cinematics for the guest characters, huh? Nice with the music. Alright, and right into the trap. Woo! Okay! there. Okay, so there he was. There was Rambo in all his Stallone-esque glory. Um, so we didn't actually get to hear that much of him speaking as of yet. There was a decent amount of him screaming, which to be expected, right? It's a Mortal Kombat game. Um, but what we heard so far of his voice was pretty good. You know, there was some discussion I saw in various Twitch chats on Twitter that said that Basically, given the pandemic situation, what Stallone had to do was record his own voice lines at home and then just kind of send them into the studio, which is, of course, what a lot of voice actors and actresses have been doing for video games um, and, and, you know, animation and things like that over the past few months. But Stallone, not, not being a voice actor, but just an actual actor... <sighs> 
Uh, you saw a lot of people wondering how that was going to come out, how that was going to sound, and I have to admit I was one of them too since, you know, as much as we love Stallone, he's not the most clear and articulate at times, but he sounded good. He sounded good to me. Um, sounded crisp, straightforward, clear, at least what I could hear so far. Like I said, we've only heard a little, but so far so good, and he looks amazing. He's perfect as Rambo, like the visuals are spot on as always. Um, so, so as for the gameplay itself, a couple things that I noticed. First of all, of course, there's a big boot kick drop very similar to Aaron Black, so I see that coming in Combat League already, <laughs> and Online Connections is being a bit brutal for us. Um, we'll see how safe it is and how fast it actually is when we get a uh, gameplay in the Combat Cast next week. But other than that, you know, there was a lot of concern, as I said at the beginning of the video, about him potentially being just another very zoning-heavy character. That doesn't seem to be the case. I think I only saw one actual gun-based move there, though I'm sure there's probably more, but I only saw one. And it was kind of an interesting one where I think uh, um, someone else was throwing a projectile at him. And I don't know if this move triggered when he was hit as it was kind of like a projectile parry maybe kind of I don't know I'll have to go back and look I could be totally off base um and maybe he was just responding to what the opponent was doing but it kind of looked like a projectile parry where he was hit or it was coming at him and then the reaction was his gun flies up from the floor, from the ground, into his hands, and then he just shoots off a, a billion rounds, um, which was interesting. But for the most part, his gameplay seemed to be much more heavily focused on, you know, on the traps, which a lot of people were speculating about possibly being in, and then just up close, in-your-face movement and attacks with his knife. Um, I see a lot of shades of like Nightwolf style gameplay in what we've seen so far in terms of how he's fighting up close. Um, I kind of got the feeling that, that again, I have to go back and look, but it looked like there might be some command grabs in there for sure. There's interesting kind of rolling moves where he rolls to the other side of the opponent and then, and then can attack them. Um, and then a lot of like very low to the ground moving sort of stuff that gives him an opportunity to get in sort of quickly and and get in on the opponent so he had a like a really close um close i'm sorry really far away sort of slide move that you could see that's low to the ground that allowed him to get in and then he had the interesting kind of a <laughs> army crawl which I don't know if that just what is going to go under all projectiles as a way to get in, which could be interesting depending on, again, how fast and safe it is when we actually see it in the game. But it certainly looks fucking cool, right? Um, and yeah, then like I said, a lot of different trap moves. So seems like he's going to be kind of like maybe a setup heavy slash Nightwolf type character. Which really seems interesting. And again, and also, like I said, the way he moves just with a lot of like getting low and coming in and, and grappling in with the opponent seems like a really fun looking playstyle that looks very different um, than a lot of what we've seen. So, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for him. Rambo, I mean, he's still my third on the ranking of most exciting for this combat pack, but that's honestly just because how much I love Melina. And Rain also just being like an awesome kind of legacy character and me loving Mortal Kombat as a franchise. But Rambo looks cool. I'm not going to deny it. And I'm really excited for the people that want to try him. So yeah, so now we've just got to wait a couple more weeks, guys. I can't wait. So you guys let me know. What are your thoughts on Rambo? What did you think when you just heard about him coming to begin with? And how are you feeling now that we've seen a little bit of a snippet of his gameplay? Are you going to try him out? Are you going to play him? Are you afraid of ever, anything you've seen so far? Um, if you're not going to play him, do you think he looks cool? Do you think he fits? Just in general, what are your feelings? And I'm going to wrap this up here, guys. So thank you so much for joining me today. And hopefully I will see you next time and next week for Melina. <laughs> Bye.